In this episode, I will show you how to display and hide a loading spinner when retrieving asynchronous Firebase data from an Angular application. Loading indicators are an important user interface feature because they show the end user when more data is incoming. Step one, create the spinner component. We're going to create a spinner component that can be reused throughout the application. To make it look cool, I'm gonna use the SpinKit CSS library, which can just be copied directly into the component's CSS and HTML files. At this point, you don't need to change anything in the component's TypeScript. Step two, retrieve asynchronous data. We need to load some data from Firebase in order to make use of the spinner. In this example, I'm loading a Firebase list observable via the Angular Fire 2 package. The actual data is just an array of items from a to-do list. This code was originally created for the real-time database video, so check that out if you want to learn more about asynchronous data streams from Firebase. Step three, show and hide the spinner. We want to show the spinner in the items list component when the data is being retrieved. First, we define a variable called show spinner in the component and set it to true by default. During the ng on init lifecycle hook, the data is requested from the service as the Firebase list observable. We can determine if the data has been loaded by subscribing to it. The function inside the subscribe call will be executed after the observable emits some data. So we can simply set the show spinner variable to false once this happens. In the template, we can use the ng if directive with the show spinner variable to control the visibility of the actual spinner component itself. Going back to the app, we can see the spinner is visible for a split second before the data is loaded. The longer it takes for your data to load, the more useful the spinner is going to be for your end users. That's it for loading spinners. See you next time.